what is today's, or who, or what is today's cultural Hall of Shame inductee? The first of 2013. This is it. Uh, and I look right to the future as I, uh, as I focus on what's happening in the cultural Hall of Shame today. The Mars One Project, the uh -huh. people behind it, the organization that intends to put human life on the planet Mars, a 10 year long project. That's a project. problem? Yeah, it is a problem because this is how they're going to fund it. It's a nonprofit, uh, it's established, uh, these guys are located in the Netherlands, so already I'm suspicious. Because, you know, they, also, they have this surface benevolence over there in sure, the Netherlands. Yeah. Oh, we're doing this for humanity. But then you find out that the way they're... Sneaky. you got to watch them. Well, yeah, you gotta, they're slippery. Yeah. Slippery. Like yeah. the fish they like to eat. <laughs> but they're choosing applicants. They're choosing the first 24 astronauts to live on Mars. By the way, a one-way trip um, <laughs> via, via a global television show. So this is how we're going to populate Mars with the winners... We're going to get the, the Earth's Reality best TV. fame whores. This is who we want to represent the world. This is where we're going with this. Well, I didn't understand the strange conflation of a brilliant idea. Let's colonize Mars and then the worst <laughs> of humanity. I mean, really, that's what I want to say. I want to say, oh, the humanity, but say it with such great disappointment. So humanity. you're disappointed that the first people populating okay, Mars. Why? Were... Yes. I, I want to understand why you're not completely on board because with me. Because I on this ask out. questions. Well, it's just this what is, do you, you want... want me to just sit here and. Sean, I already gave you all the information you need. It's going to be chosen by reality. <laughs> I'm TV. clarifying Let's because say... of your high pitched voice. Sometimes I can't hear some of what you're okay, saying. Okay, so now you're critiquing the way <laughs> so, my enthusiasm, my I'm excitement. I'm sorry. I know so you're injured. Was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My head is in a sling. You're right. I just want to, you've been hit by a truck. <laughs> oh, God, Daddy, please don't call me and ask about it again. She Mars. is okay. Uh, Mars. Please. Jean, uh, yeah, the yeah. first people. The first people on Mars are going to be the visited. winners of a reality TV, TV contest. Let's say there's and you don't another, like that. Let's say they're alien visitors. They go to Mars before they come to Earth, and this is who they meet first. What are your qualifications to be the astronaut? Well, the well they're Earth, not astronauts. I was so. the least annoying <laughs> contestant in the house. I won the tug of war, right? I mean, they didn't vote me off. That's how I. That's the only reason I'm here. Who should be there? Who should be on Mars? How are you going well, to who's going to pick who gets to go to Mars? People who know things, not people who just want to be famous. <laughs> this is my Maybe issue. Maybe some very knowledgeable people will be entering this because reality. Because those TV are the show. people who tend to go on television, the ones who really spend a lot of time, you know, working in their field, really caring about what they do, not the ones who are like, "So, wait a minute. If I go on, I get a t-shirt and I get a mug and I get a ride in a rocket ship." Right, on the right. upside, of course, the only bright side is either this whole thing is that they don't come back so we send these people who all they want to do is be seen on television and be in a giant global tv popularity contest yes. and then they don't come back that's the only upside and i wonder if these people are even thinking about it hey i want a contest well goodbye forever really it's a one-way trip to mars what do you think Shion? i what do, you, what I do it, i think, well, I, think I think that they're going to come back how are they going to come back <laughs> they haven't, do you see these this is the other problem with the netherlands there's not a shuttle they have a great idea but then they just don't think it through it's going to take 10 years to right. get there right. after that maybe the interest wanes. let's say the ratings drop and then suddenly you know what we only have enough money to get them halfway to mars right Right, they're stuck. I see. All right. Well, you've made your case for why you don't believe. So do you believe that there should be anyone on Mars? I, of course, I don't. You yes. think it should be qualified You just think it people? should be a round trip of, goes into space? of Mensa candidates. Well, Sean, who goes in? Really, does it have to be Mensa? <laughs> who goes into space now? Don't you think it's people who train to become astronauts? Not the just great some, Chris Hadfield. Not just some guy yeah. who's on a couch going, I think I could do that. I could do that. Right. But you see that in Who will speak for Laika, by the way? The little dog that was sent up. Laika, the Russian dog. Who will speak for Laika? Yes. What's going on with Laika now? Is there a Laika cam? Long, long past. Right. Elvira Kurd, I thank you. The inaugural Way to bring it down with the Laika. Now we bring it into back the to Hall of Shame. I think you should drink coffee again, Comedian, Gian. Comedian, would change your perspective. writer, curator, I do miss it. Q's <laughs> Culture, I'm an addict. Q's Cultural Hall of Shame. Elvira Kurd will be back.